What's going on YouTube? Lewis of the Way It Kicks channel. Shout out to everybody out there. Hope you're having a great day, guys. I got another unboxing to do here for the channel. And real quick, shout out to all the new subscribers and to all the people who have been rocking with me for a while. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate the support. If you see, we are so close to 1,000 subs. So if this is not the first time or it is the first time you've seen my videos and you have yet to subscribe, guys, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. Once we do hit that 1,000 sub milestone, I will be doing a sneaker giveaway to one lucky winner. But what we're going to do is hop into the review that's in this box right here. And the label reads, Jordan Spizyclo Chinese New Year Sale. Metallic gold grain oil green. This is a size 12. And believe it or not, guys, there were only 5,000 pairs released on the Nike app. And these are pretty much all sold out. Now, before we get to looking at the shoes, I did also want to show you guys the crew neck that was being sold there on the Nike app as well. And here's the front where it says Jordan. If you kind of look up close there, you can kind of see that they kind of put some scales there in the Jordan letters, guys. And then here on the back, you have the two, three, and then you have the dragon because this is the year of the dragon. And fun fact there, if you didn't know about the uh, Chinese New Year calendar, the animals come around every 12 years. So it'll be another 12 years from now that we'll see the New Year of the dragon, guys. But the dragon is actually the only mythical animal that is on the Chinese New Year calendar. So that's another fun fact. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the review. All right, so here you go. Here's the box, guys. You can see that spackling that's kind of all over there. Plus, you have that green oil color for the box. And then the jump man here is almost like a sail color. And then you got the flight here written in gold. Flipping open the lid, you are met here with this graphic print of the Jordan Los Spizikes. And what this print is telling you is actually what the sneaker is comprised of. So you have the midsole elephant print, which is the Jordan 3. You have the molded technical wings, which is the Jordan 4. You got the quarter panel and eye stays, the Jordan 5. The tongue and lace lock is from the Jordan 6. And then the pull tab and badge is from the Jordan 9. Now, the Spizike silhouette itself came out back in October of 2006, and that was in commemoration of the character Mars Blackman, who was originally in this movie called She's Gotta Have It. It's a movie about a woman trying to choose between three guys, and the guy that is playing Mars Blackman, his name is Spike Lee. He's also a director, and you've probably seen him at a bunch of Knicks games if you watch basketball and watch the Knicks like that. But him and Mike actually did a bunch of commercials also for the Jordan 3 and the Jordan 4. It was called the Mike and Spike commercials, guys. But let's go ahead and get into the rest of the shoe. But I'll put a link in the description there on an article you can read more in depth about it as well if you want to. But here you have the Chinese dragons here that are on the tissue paper. And let me go ahead and open this up here. And here you have a little envelope here and you see this symbol on there or graphic rather with the jump man in the center. And let me go ahead and take this out here. And what you're met with is this pendant here and you can hear the bells there on the pendant guys. And this pendant is actually for good luck and it's also to help ward off evil spirits as well as far as Chinese folklore is concerned. But moving on from that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes. And once again, yeah, we did get a bunch of tissue paper here. Taking a look here at the sneakers, guys, here you have the Jordan Spizike Chinese New Year. And once again, these were only limited to 5,000 pairs there on the Nike app. And they actually did sell out. But taking a look here at the shoes, you can see the elephant print that they gave you. Well, it's not even elephant print, actually. What that print is supposed to be representative of, let me put that up close there, is like dragon scales, guys, which I think is actually pretty cool. Now, if you were able to cop the Jordan 1 Chinese New Year's, you would have seen that uh, the shoe itself, all the uppers would have looked like this, but here they obviously switched it up. You kind of have some muted white or kind of sail uh, white uppers all around the shoe there. And you see the kind of burgundy style uh, Jordan 4 wing straps that are on there. You got white laces. You can see the elements there of the Jordan 5 that's in there. 
Got the elements here of the Jordan 6 with the, the patch over the laces with the gold jump man. You got your uh, lace lock here plus your Jordan 6 style tongue, but you don't have the pull tab holes in here. So they switched it up just a little bit. Also, yeah, this patch, it actually doesn't snap off like it does on the Jordan 6. This is actually stitched here to the tongue guys. And taking a look here on the inside of the sock liner, you can see you got that burgundy colored sock liner there. And once again, you got that graphic there with the Jumpman. Insole foot pad is gray. You do have your pull tab here on the back. I'm not exactly sure what the symbol is here either on the back, guys. I probably should know what it is, but if you know, please let me know in the comments because I tried searching for it again because I couldn't remember what the heck it was for. But moving on here to the other shoe, guys. Taking a look here at the midsole, you pretty much have a sail or kind of muted white midsole. And then here on the outsole, you got burgundy as well. You have the pivot point here in gray and then Jordan written here in gray as well. And then on the inside here, same thing with the same kind of graphic guys, but on the back of the heel, you actually do have a graphic there of Mars Blackman, which is a really nice touch. I think that's pretty decent here, but man, let me tell you, you know, we're supposed to be getting a couple of these in some different colorways this year, guys. I'm not sure how you all feel about the silhouette, but I do know back when these originally released, people were digging these uh, fairly good, but I would say that maybe they're mixed reviews right now as far as the silhouette is concerned. I'm not sure how everyone's gonna take to these, but like I said, this pair in particular did sell out. You know, now that I have them here in hand, I actually do like these quite a bit, but let me go ahead and throw these on feet and then we'll close out the video. All right, so after taking a look at the Jordan Spizike Chinese New Year's on feet, what are your overall thoughts? Please let me know in the comments. I love interacting with all of you guys. And this pair in particular, I know it may be a lot to take in, but this here, seeing it in hand, I actually really like these and these are going to stay in the collection guys. But if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me. And of course, if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe guys and click that notification bell so you can know every time I drop one of these videos. In any case, this is Lewis of the Way Your Kicks channel reminding you to be true, stay in the moment, and don't forget every day is a great day to wear your kicks.